Welcome to the ITU studio here in Sharm El Sheikh, Egypt, where we're here at GSR 23, the Global Symposium for Regulators. And I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dan Schlebom, who is the Director General of the Swedish Posts and Telecommunications Authority. Welcome to the studio, Dan. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to join the ITU events. Excellent. Now, well, let's talk about uh, the, uh, the, this ITU event. Uh, why is this in particular important for you to be attending? Well, I think as regulator, we are at the junction where what used to be sort of our clear mandate is becoming much more complex and uh, therefore the need to collaborate is increasing with that uh, challenge of uh, ICT becoming our new reality rather than telecommunications. And I, mean, I see you've still got the name Posts as well. So how, what is the postal system like in, uh, in Sweden? Is it still uh, healthy and, uh, and vibrant? No, I mean, it is one of the many analog systems that are being overtaken slowly but surely, I think, by, uh, by digital. Uh, we have many other systems that are going the same way, like you know, hardly anyone uses any paper or coins money anymore. I, I don't carry any since years back. It's all gone digital. And the same with uh, many other societal services. So it's, it's going very quickly and it's increasingly affecting everyone's life. So therefore, having, finding a policy that includes everyone, that makes the new reality understandable to everyone, that divides in a, in a smart way responsibilities between telecom regulators, traditional and, and other sector regulator, and finding the smart ways of uh, collaborating between us uh, to make that understandable to, to end you is increasingly challenging, but important. What are the regulatory challenges in Sweden at the moment? Uh, what are you finding uh, that keeps you awake at night? Well, I'm not sure anything keeps me awake that would be bad, but uh, certainly we are looking forward to, to getting grips on uh, platforms uh, as a, a new mode of communication affecting mostly everything we do data as part of that becoming sort of the new oil as everyone says and who, how should we deal with that increasingly international of course uh, ai is also there at the horizon and all of these things jointly have to be dealt with in a coherent and understandable manner so that's that is really a big part of the challenge and the flip side of that of course is having all the benefits of all those wonderful new revolutionary technologies is that we have to keep up with the cybersecurity side of things that unfortunately tend to develop a little bit slower than the uh, usage case side. I mean, in terms of, of regulation, I imagine that you have to be ahead of the curve and, and it's, it's not always easy. I mean, you'd mentioned AI before. I think that's something which is uh, definitely advancing at a great pace. Uh, does that uh, present uh, particular challenges to you? I think it does, in, and not only to, to me as a post, post and telecoms regulator, but it's so cross-cutting. It, it spreads over all aspects of, uh, of life and therefore also all aspects of, uh, of government. So it's, it really is one of these horizontal things that, uh, that we need to look at very carefully. And the other horizontal thing that is also happening in parallel and very much related to it is, of course, all the sustainability topics that come with where we are with the planet being what it is and, uh, and the focus that we need to have on those topics. We've had a number of guests in here in the studio and they're talking about, obviously, uh, the concerns that they have and the uh, regulatory landscape for them. They have certain challenges uh, like for example, the rural populations, uh, their economic situation. I would take it that, uh, that, that Sweden is in a relatively uh, privileged position, perhaps, in that way. We have come far. We have fiber to the home or outside the home of some 92% of the population. We have 5G or 4G coverage of the entire nation. So we are indeed in a privileged position. But reaching the final percentage points of rollout to include everyone it's not getting easy because you will have, you, you know, you, you start with the low hanging fruits and as you come to, to the very, the, the toughest ones, that's, that's still a lot of challenge. And I think therefore we share much of the challenge of uh, everyone else who is here at GSR. What about talking about being here at GSR? What about the conversations uh, that you've heard here? Are there any major, major takeaways uh, that uh, you'll be going back uh, to, to Sweden with, of having been attending here and, and listening to uh, your fellow regulators? Well, I think uh, really the, the takeaway is almost always the same, that we share so much of the 
challenges and therefore we can always talk about where we are. We can get little insights into how somebody else has dealt with particular issues and we can try to apply at least some ideas when we got back home. Thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio today. Great to see you again and uh, hopefully we'll catch up again in the very near future. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Excellent. And thank you very much indeed for tuning in wherever you might be. Uh, remember that we've got plenty of interviews on the ITU YouTube channel as well as the ITU podcast channels too on SoundCloud and Spotify and wherever you get your podcasts from. And for further information, do check out our website, which is www.itu.int. Thank you very much and until next time.